Hello together. This time I want to show you the function of the kitchen scale. Well, you can see this kitchen scale to switch on, you have to press the on button or the S. It does immediately a calibrating of the tarot. Now you can see I can put something onto the scale and I can measure the weight. The weight. So if I remove that on and put something more heavy on, for example, because it's a kitchen scale, some noodles, and then uh, I have a second function. For example, if I want to add some ingredients, I can press the, the S2 button and it will add or it shows when I now add my, my battery I did before and you will see it will come up with about the same weight. The accuracy of the scale is quite accurate because uh, it will be calibrated automatically. So this can be done during a calibration process where you have to put on uh, different kind of weights onto the scale and that uh, leads to some calibration. I'm going to show you this a little bit later. Now, by pressing the tarot again, it starts again over and you can put something on to measure the weight. If you don't change uh, the weight for at least three minutes, that's at least the default setting at the moment, but that can be changed depending on the program. At the moment, um, it will take about three minutes, then it will switch off automatically to save battery, if you use a battery. At the moment, I, have no, I don't use a battery. To save the battery immediately, you can switch off manually by pressing the S2 button for a long time. And it will switch off automatically. So now it's switched off and it doesn't take any power anymore from the battery because of the uh, internal circuit that takes care that absolutely no power will be taken during a switch off mode. Now switching on again leads to the same function we have seen already. So to calibrate the scale what you need is to have some special weights. What I did, I have some milk bottles I measured exactly with the right weight. At the moment, five different steps I have to calibrate. To initiate the calibration is a special code. You press two times the S1 button shortly and two times the S2 button. And now it comes into calibration. Well, this is a little bit hidden because you don't want to have people not knowing about that to spoil your calibration. It's telling me now, put zero grams onto S1 and, and press the S1 button. That's what I'm doing. So now it asks me to put 31 grams because the syringe itself has 11 grams and I have an additional, in addition 20 uh, milliliters of water, which are in, in addition 20 grams. So we end up in 31. And now I press the S1 button again. And now it's asking to put 1,024 grams of a measurement uh, weight onto the scale. So if I do so, by, by the way, the 1,024 is just by fortune. 1,024 has nothing to do with a byte uh, border. You, if, if you're an electronic guy, you may say, oh, you have to, you have to be on 1,024. Uh, but this is not the case. So now I, I did that. Put the 1024 grams on it's measuring now it's asking me for the double so I put a second bottle with the same weight press the button again and now I put a third one it's about three kilos so if I now press the button the calibration will be saved inside the EEPROM and it measures now 3072 grams. That's because that's exactly, if you calculate uh, that one, it will end up exactly in the right thing. What you need to do now is perhaps having a new tarot calibration and now you can start measuring and we can find out this should be 31 grams because that's still our calibration weight. Okay, it's 0.2 grams less. 
a little bit of inaccuracy as always. So if I now take that one, it should end up in 1024. Yeah, okay, it's quite exact. And if I put 2, 2048, yeah, roughly. There's a little very last mode that is only for for analyzing errors, for example. And that is if I do a two times press of the S1 button and then a long press afterwards, it's showing me so-called raw weight. That's actually the value that comes from the sensor and will be digitized by the electronics behind. And uh, that is what, what actually the Arduino gets as a measurement value. And from that, we do the calculation based on that calculation. So normally you never need, need that. This is only if you have to do some, some error fault finding, uh, then this may be helpful. So now I can switch off my scale by pressing the button for a long time. S2. So thanks for watching.